If you're thinking of buying a MacBook or MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air and having trouble which size to get, here's a video that will help you choose which one to get. This is the MacBook section of the UK Apple Store website. So I apologise if you're in the country. But the MacBook starts at just 799. It's a 2.2 GHz Intel Core CGO processor, 250 GB hard drive, it's got 2 GB of DDR3 memory, 250 GB hard drive, as I said, uh, it's got the NVIDIA GeForce M 9400M graphics card, and it's got a built in 7 hour battery. Now, the graphics card and in this MacBook is the same one found in some of the MacBook Pros. In fact, it's found in both 13 inch models and it's found in the bottom right in 15 inch model, which is the one I went for. Um, this one's a good choice, but you know, some, some people don't like the design of this one. I happen to like it. Uh, 799 is the cheapest, is the very cheapest MacBook you can get brand new from the Apple Store. This one's just been released really, not very long ago, so I don't think they'll be planning any more updates soon. As if, if you go for the MacBook Pro, they start at £100 more at 899 The 13-inch 2.6GHz model is a very good model if you want a MacBook Pro, as it's small, compact, very portable. Uh, it's got some of the same specs as the MacBook. The things that are different, obviously, is the look. Obviously, a 13-inch a MacBook Pro looks a lot better. Um, same battery life. It's got a smaller hard drive though, which is weird. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM. But if you went to the, front, the higher spec 13 inch model, they pay quite a lot more, really. That's nine. That's 249 pounds difference between these two MacBook Pros. But the difference is you get a bigger hard drive at 250 gig, four gigabytes of RAM, a bit faster processor, same graphics card, same battery. And that's 1149. Now, here is the model that I went for. Oops, sorry. 15 inch, 2.53 gigahertz model, Intel Core 2 Joe, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 250 gigabyte hard drive, SD card slot, built in 7 hour battery. This one's £1,299. So that's quite a lot if you want a bigger screen. Because them two, the, fact, the higher end 13 inch MacBook Pro and the bottom line 15 inch MacBook Pro is exactly the same spec, except obviously for screen size. I got this one for a lot cheaper than that. I got mine at one one seven one no one 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 four something like that because of the student discount they offer, which is good. Um, if you want a bit more out of your MacBook Pro, you can. There's an option with to have two built-in graphics cards. One, one's dedicated graphics means you can get means the video memory is not split with the memory, but you know. Don't really need that if you're game if you're gaming and who wants to game on a Mac, right? Uh, I don't want also have the three hundred twenty gigabyte hard drive, but really I don't need that much space. And if I did, I could just use my external hard drive or my Dropbox account. Uh, there's also a fifteen inch Mac, another fifteen inch Mac Pro, which is a bit higher processor performance than the two point six six gigahertz. That one's two hundred pounds more, and that's the only difference really. And you get the five hundred gigabyte hard drive. Also, the more expensive ones, uh, you obviously have to pay more for the Apple Care, which is something to think about. Um, I got mine for just forty pounds, <laughs> three years, but you can get that discount if you're a student. Um, and the highest end MacBook Pro, which is the very, very, very high end one, is seventeen inch, two point eight gigahertz. It's exactly the same as the fifteen inch, except for the battery life. You can get eight hours, obviously, because it's bigger, so it can fit more battery in. Same graphics cards, um, obviously, the express card slot, but really, I'd imagine they'll be changing that soon to an SD card slot. And also, these ones could be refreshed soon, and you could see the i7 and i5 mobile chipset in these 15 inch MacBook Pros. All of these you can customize later on. I got mine with a SSD drive, 
which really, really gives your performance boost when loading programs. That's a lot more though. That one's um, I think 250 pounds for a solid state, but definitely worth the upgrade as you can see there. Solid state. Yeah, you can configure your MacBooks. It's got all the iWork software all pre-installed. I think that like, the iWork software does cost more though. So if you want that, um, come pre-installed with Apple's latest Snow Leopard system and iLife, which is the iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand, iWeb software. Um, Overall, the MacBook Pro line is the one I would go for. I do like the MacBook, but really, if you're paying $799 for a MacBook, you might as well pay £100 more for the MacBook Pro. And there's options as well. If you want to pay monthly, if you want to pay that all at once, you can pay that as low as £31 a month. But obviously, you pay more if you take that finance option. Great laptops overall, but if you wanted a MacBook Air, which I don't really recommend, the bottom line one is one one four nine, and look at the spec difference you get. Don't recommend the MacBook Air. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.